Welcome back for yet again some more Europa Universalis 4 with the Art of War DLC installed and of course the reason why you most likely are watching this video <laughs> the Vertus at 4202.0.0 mod so um yeah sure this all uh, you know playing some jeu de bomb and uh, fighting uh, well what I thought was a very a very simple uh, simple war but it uh, appears to be a well, not not per se that much bigger or bigger of an issue, but um, still, uh, we also need to uh, actually fight Brittany and Norway. However, Norway has been taken care of. You know, this little province is taken care of, and we already have this. Um, well, we already have the objective, so uh, we already have a ticking war score, which is also nice because uh, we need actually quite uh, quite something because we want full annexation of this little country. And uh, let's see, and we also need to figure out if we can or cannot uh, cross our own waters, which is uh, actually an interesting thing if you if you think about it. Sure. So we'll just uh, park our navy right over here. Okay. And well, let's hope that they don't really do anything uh, to our ships. Okay. Sure. Uh, let's see, my king can still enter the military alliance with the en enemy Norway. That is actually quite un unfortunately. Um, I highly doubt... Um, no, we did not uh, make Norway a co belligerent Okay, so we can't ask uh, Castile to join in. But uh, still, I mean, you never know, you know, if we had to fight Castile as well. I think we could win. It's not, it's not like it really matters that much. But still, you know, okay, a chassis, okay. Uh, play a bubble, why not? Okay, you go to Devon. Okay, and we were beaten at uh, well, a very simple game. Um, let's see, normally, would you in any way give us. Okay, you would, very nice. Um. Let's see. Uh, enable. Okay. Auto transport. Always like that feature. And now we we'll just, you know, uh, apply some more pressure to, well, the enemy, most likely. There we are. Let's see. Do you have an army? If so, prepare it to die. Very simply said. Okay. We'll just copy cheat you and everything you stand for. Okay, let's see. Complaints about a bailiff. Okay, a bailiff. Uh, a bailiff in one of our provinces has earned a reputation as a greedy and cruel man. The local populace have gathered a petition to have him removed. Okay, ignore or I mean, again prestige. Sure, we'll just execute the one. Okay, and here we go. Okay, normally I do like the fact that you gave me military access, but yeah, we're just gonna. Okay, so this siege is happening. It's a good thing to have to see happen. Okay, and we could uh, perhaps just ask a shit ton of money from uh, Brittany. I mean, we don't really want a province unless we we had, you know, uh, I don't know. It would actually not really be that bad for province. Come to think of it, I mean, sure. I mean, you do have, you know, uh, you know, the trading route going in here, so. For a certain extent, it wouldn't really hurt us, but still. So, yeah, this, it's the same problem with, um, well, with with this uh, land. I mean, if our navies can't reach it, we're fucked. We can't really do anything. And, well, luckily we've got our allies here and our, you know, <laughs> forced friendships <laughs> to, uh, to help us. But, but still, you know. But we might, you know, just get some territories later. But we first need to get uh, Ireland. And then we can focus on the rest. Okay. Okay. Bureaucratic integration, sure. We've won the siege as well. Let's get going, lads. Okay, we now actually have complete... Uh, we can now fully annex them. So, or oh, we've got 100% the war score for some reason. So we will, uh, yeah, just do this. Off we go. 
one retreat. Okay, full annexation, excellent. Now we can have you, so we should rely more on trade. And no, so those are still the same, and they're all a little bit retarded because, well, they're still, still a rival, and they will not really accept anything from us. And well, oh, and Im Imperial Maintenance too. okay, we're getting large enough, that's interesting. Sure. And now we only need cork. Cork is not really. Uh, I think we do not have a truce. Uh, wow, we don't have a truce. Oh well, then we'll just you know take you, or just you know, fabricate a claim. Where is it? It is here. Cork. Off we go. And we've already been discovered. Let's see who thinks us. Aggressive expansion of 30, really? Okay, and then 16. Yeah, I mean, we, we'll, we'll, we'll just, you know, do it. It's not like it really matters that much. Okay. And he entered a coalition. Oh, well. That works. Just giving the gas bell, I will, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll work around it later. Okay, and now um, we also want our friends to remain very friendly, so we also sent a, um, you know, a diplomat to them, to that side. Okay, and then we almost have complete control of the Engli English Isle, and then we want uh, this integration to, uh, yeah, to finally work. So yeah, the process needs to be complete. Family secret. Uh, sure, we'll just take yet again the <coughs> the prestige. It's, it's some something like you know you get one event and then you can choose to either do A or B. And once you've chosen B, and uh, a shit of other events hit to make sure that you choose. Yeah, to make sure you choose to lose more of that B. I mean that's how I feel sometimes. You know, it's like. Hmm. A little bit retarded sometimes. Oh well. Okay, get our navy out as well. You know, just to blockade Cork. Yes, excellent. Now we actually have you do nothing, and I want you to protect the North Sea, I suppose. Okay, and go home at walls. Excellent. Okay, merchants are worried about lack of protection. Um, should we advocate free trade or... Okay, we'll just do something about it, you know. Why not? Uh, we still have quite a lot of money to work with, so let's build some more stuff. So last time we were building trading posts. Just, you know, continue that trend. Excellent, and there goes all the money. <laughs> Okay, you. Okay, you are still fighting. Sure. You're you're winning and losing left and right a little bit, France. I mean, sure you still have all those good generals, but hopefully, yeah, at some point you will not have those uh, anymore. So, okay, you did get an alliance. Oh no, <laughs> not an alliance, but uh, a coalition. Sure, you know we'll just get in, kill. And just you know, uh, let's see, group enough to this so the siege will uh, will work swift. Uh, we'll make swift work of it. Okay, and then we have Ireland. Excellent. And well, then we kind of want Scotland to also just become part of us, so we can uh, start getting Norway. Uh, yeah, we want Iceland, and we want these islands as well. Basically, because we can, and then we might uh, launch a full school skill offensive against the French. I mean, who knows? Okay, borders are threatened. Uh, in Gascon, sure, we'll just you know, increase the fortifications there. I mean, why not? Hopefully, we'll. Okay, we will not take it alone because that's usually something that you overlook quite easily. Okay. And there we have it. So full annexation as well. There we go. 
So Morocco is no longer a valid rival. Okay. Then I... Oh no, fucking hell, eh? We get this right now. So the Owen Glyndwyr was revolt. So in 1400, a Welshman named Owen Glyndwyr uh, led a revolt against the English rule. Although successful in the field, he lacked artillery necessary to take fortifi fortified English castles and eventually uh, succumbed to their uh, numerical and financial superiority. Despite his army's uh, thorough defeat in 1409, Glitter remained uh, at large for the, for, for the remainder of his life. Okay, so we just you know, get our army first, then we can have the. Uh, then we can have this one to trigger, and here we go. We just you know, besiege it. War. Okay. Um, can we not attack? No, we cannot. And because of this, we lost the Imperial Maintenance. Okay, now, well. Superior numbers, you say? I doubt it. Okay, let's just besiege it. Besiege it further. And then just wipe you off the face of this earth. And there you go. Stack wipe, stack wipe. Excellent. And um, let's see, you already want also seed. No, a full annexation is the only thing I will accept. You know, no more subjugations, nothing. It's a very, very annoying war, but yeah, you know, if you lose, you, you, this could trigger when you're, for instance, at war with uh, things like, you know, France. That, that could really fuck you up. And then France is like, well, I'll support this nation. And well, then you're further away from home. Very simply said. Okay. Um, oh, France is actually joining the war quite interesting. Uh, I wanted to do something, but I forgot what. <laughs> okay, let's do this one. Okay, I just totally blank out there okay um there was something <laughs> there's always something oh well um okay we have won this here siege excellent gentlemen okay okay this is weird okay so the western schism it's ended and uh, so he is now recognized as the true father of the Christian Dom. Okay, but there's no means to end this. Okay. There's not. Hmm. That is uh well quite annoying. So uh, you know, we'll just uh, work around it a little bit. Um how many ships? Okay, we'll just set our ships here as well. So we can uh, siege a little bit more quicker. Okay, and still no full annexation is the only thing I demand. It's not unreasonable. Okay, sure, another jeu de bon event. Okay, sure, the best equipment for a little bit more prestige, traveling to Castile. A rival, really? Oh well, interesting. Uh, no, I want to. Oh, yeah, right, that, what, that's it, you know. Oh. I wanted to make sure that we are uh, coring cork. Excellent. Uh, and now, okay, the event just left us. Excellent. Uh, no chance. Sure. Mm -hmm. Okay, another siege has been won. Good. Another one has been won. Okay. But now we are looking at quite a lot of, uh, yeah, manpower loss. It's not really what you want. <laughs> but sure. And there we go. Now we can fully annex you, bastards. Suggest demands. So demand for annex annexation. I find that reasonable. Off we go. Do we need to core it all? Hopefully not. No, because they already were part of us. Well, I'd like to thank my allies for joining. 
Okay. And then we can also just uh, start this one. Good. And there we go. And Sweden is at war with an ally. And who may not may that be? Flanders. Okay, interesting, but sure, no. Um Well now that we actually control Ireland, that is good for now. And well, we basically need to build again. Our economy is a little bit uh, flaky. I mean, we've got so many buildings we need to build. So I think we'll just, you know, decrease the uh, total spender on everything a little bit. Accumulate some money. And, well, uh, yeah. Basically, it hopefully, uh, we'll just park our army in our capital. That's most likely not to really have anything. So, fear of loathing in Middlesex. Okay, uh, twilight is always the worst. The clouds racing in circles across the moonless skies. Cruel stars suspended like grains of broken glass and gentle liaise uh, throwing strange shadows across the royal chambers. Lately, a strange sense has come upon you that there is something wrong with the place. The ge ge geometry of it seems unsound. Uh, thinking back is all... It all started with the birth of Jane, and Jane is, I suppose, yes, our heir, our reasonably, reasonably strong heir. So, uh, the realm is more important than a little bread, okay, or you could perhaps, if I pray hard enough, risk is the answer, and England gets drunkard, to the death of sure. How old are you? That's basically the question. You are 48. And our heir is 18 years old, and he's reasonably strong. No, he's not really better than you, but hey. Um, yeah, it's not like we're really gonna... Hmm, missionary strength, tolerance of heretics. Mm, we'll just, you know, pray a little bit harder. That's it, we already parked the army there, there's not really much we can do anyway. So, yeah, <laughs> and yeah, I hope, uh, I'm wondering if you can actually see where, whether or not <coughs> something like uh, the integration process is uh, visible. Okay, let's uh, recall you, and then Flanders is now your turn, improve relationship, excellent. But yeah, I mean, if I could see where, what where we are now with the uh, with the integration process that would be nice <laughs> hmm. oh well and we will also improve relationship excellent hmm you know what we might do um, next time we are fighting France we might okay nice you might just liberate a, uh, a piece of it. Oh, it's still at war with people. So yeah, you might we might liberate uh, like uh, someone and then make it into a march and then basically just fund a little bit of money into that one. So it will be a military strong power for there, you know? Because now with the um, versus not, not that, but now with the art of war. Uh, we can uh, you can designate a um, a vessel into a march, and that will make it well basically a military powerhouse. I mean, increase force limits like I don't know twenty or fifty percent, and well you, you don't really they don't really pay you any money. But that would be nice if you could you know have have a, a central power. It's, uh, it's just, I, I don't really think you can. Um, that they then can impress claims or, or do their own thing. That would be even nice if they could just expand on your behalf, you know, be like, okay, I liberate you, and now I want you to consume the whole world. <laughs> but yeah, it would be fun. But uh, unfortunately, we cannot. Huh. Okay. Now we should, oh yeah, right, that was the thing I wanted to do. Um, we should get uh, rivals. And the problem is, we can only get our ally and our not so ally, Castile. And 
because they're only still just a rival to rival towards each other. It's not like we like can rival Russia or something. Well, Castile it is. There we go. Okay, and we could actually go to war on on your behalf. Even though you're really looking at a peasant's war for now. Mm -hmm. Castilian, Castilian. So only here. Mm, nah, let's, let's not really do anything with it. Okay, so um, I'm just gonna, you know, end it here. So um, the only thing I ask of you now to do really is to uh, leave a comment expressing your opinion about this series. Uh, for me, it's well, quite fun. Um, even though it's not really as successful as the other series I'm doing, uh, I'm also doing Mountain Blade, War ba Mountain Blade Warband with the Lagel mod. It's a mod that recently uh, went into open alpha and it's actually quite a lot of fun. It's basically uh, another way of playing Empire to the Wall. It's not, not really precise, however, in that, ga in that game you are basically the, the one, uh, well, you know, you've got like 200 men. So you've got like your line infantry and there's always like a officer there telling you to reload, take aim and fire. Well, you can be that officer, you know, you can be the one swinging your sword and unleashing volley after volley and well it's actually pretty nicely executed so i hope you also just check it uh, check it as well however um i only ask of you to leave a comment expressing your opinion so i can improve this this uh, series for you uh, so you enjoy it what you enjoy watching it and i can enjoy making it or well, enjoy it even more so um yeah thanks for watching and uh, bye